Hey, coming to you from the FOMO Cobro studio. And I want to talk about something I think might be being something that is probably being overlooked. Now, as you may be able to see here, there are a lot of articles already circulating around about this new 6.8 liter uh, V8 from Ford, you know, a, a cam and block engine um, away with the overhead cams. And now we're going back to the old push rod style stuff. And, you know, what is the, the speculation going on? Well, it says right here and in this first paragraph from the drive, uh, you know, it says, Based on a quote in the Windsor Star from the Canadian Auto Union's Unifor National President, Jerry Diaz, 6.8 liter power will be returning to Ford's vehicles, particularly in the 2022 F-150 and Mustang. Now, the F-150, of course, I could definitely believe, um, you know, to give a top of the line engine option aside from um, the 3.5 EcoBoost. So that makes sense. Uh, the thing that is really questioning that everyone's questioning is where does the Mustang play into this? And this is what I'm thinking. Now, I remember a year or so ago, there was talks about Boss 429 Mustang. Now, there hasn't really been too much talk about that. There has been a couple things mentioned throughout the year here and there uh, of a Boss 429, um, you know, for it to come back. But uh, no one really knew what, what would, how it would happen. Um, and when the Godzilla 7.3 engine came out, there is now there was even more, a little bit more speculation on what's going on. But now that they're saying that they're in the Windsor plants, that they're producing another 6.8 liter um, V8, I'm starting to wonder if there will be a special version of that that maybe sits right between 6.8 and 7.3 at 7 liters to get that, that magical 429 number. So I really am starting to wonder now. Or maybe they'll just keep it 6.8 and uh, slap a 429 badge on it, which I wouldn't put it past them, but I feel like them keeping to their heritage are pretty decent at doing that, but they're also pretty decent at doing things they shouldn't do. Um, it's kind of like sacrilege, right? You don't want to... I mean, the whole awesomeness of the uh, Boss 429's effects was a 7 liter be you know, behemoth. It was tire shredding torque. It was just a massive amount of power from that engine. And we all know that the new Godzilla engine is more than capable of producing that power. So, and it, it even better, it, it's an old push ride style engine. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a perfect engine power plant to do, to reissue something, to bring back a name like the Boss 429. So that is my speculation. I think there may be for this next generation, considering it is going to be a bigger body. God, I, you know, I really hope not. I really hope it doesn't get that much bigger. The weight I can understand, cars are just getting increasingly more heavy, uh, mainly because of all the safety technology that's getting it going into these cars. Um, and now a lot of cars are going with electrification, so you got to make room for motors and batteries and stuff so you know it's it's kind of sad to see but if it i don't think it's gonna get like everyone's like oh it's gonna look like a like a challenger i don't think the mustang's gonna get that bloated like you know that that to me that would be a turn off because it'd be like what's slightly smaller than a maki right because that, that would not sell well in my mind but um what I think might happen is, you know, you get a bigger, you get a slightly bigger platform. You have a little bit more to work with. You know, the Boss 429, it was a, it was a big car, you know, back in the day. It was a big, you know, wide, just mean, angular, aggressive looking car with a big, powerful V8. And I think we might have a combination for that nameplate to return. Um, you know, 
as like a maybe they'll let's see what the GT350 that uh, is in production for what five years or so um, and then they retired that name now we just got the comeback for the GT500 again that will probably run I would say for the, for you know the best of five years and then watch something like this come out maybe like a seven liter 600 horsepower you know v8 mustang with some electrification bringing it up to like you know 800 horsepower how crazy would that be and it would be the boss 429 that would be incredible you know that car would be lightning quick you know with like front wheel drive or the front wheels being driven by electric motors oh man just imagine the possibilities you know i just don't think not a lot of people are, are talking about this so i wanted to come out with this video and um share it and see if there's anyone who has the same thoughts so if you have a similar thought to me about this uh drop it in the comment section and i want to talk to people about this i think this is probably a good possibility here on the next gen mustang the s650 so um we'll just have to keep a look out for it i guess and uh i'll uh, see if i can stay on top of some of this news um, as it goes. I've been kind of neglecting these news videos, but we'll hopefully start doing more of these. Well, that's it for this video, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video you saw, please give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends and family, and if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe to the FOMO Cobra YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.